Hi, and welcome back to Restored by Polish. Welcome if you're new. We talk about how Polish helps us with our overall mental and physical well-being. Today, we're doing the next topic Tuesday. We kind of missed the last one because it was came out pretty late, that yeah, topic. So yeah. maybe we'll get around to doing that one. We're doing the one uh, that's on time for, for this round, um, which is favorite gray polishes. And I researched this because I have to, because that's just how I am. Because as I was going through like my collection, I have a lot of polishes that are super metallic-y looking. And I was deciding like, well, is that really gray or is that silver? And when I researched actually how gray is defined, gray is defined as not metallic in mm. any way. So, so no metallics, of, which makes it not very much fun. True, but no, there's some, there's some fun ones here, I think. I mean, uh, these. If I'm gonna wear gray, fun. I want it to be metallic. Just me personally. Okay, so but then it's not it's not silver. Really gray. It's I'd rather silver. do silver. It's silver, exactly. I don't so, think I would pick gray. Yeah, so that's why um, you know we're going with just straight up gray. We're not gonna do silver because I think silver just goes into its own category. Yes. So, so that there's that. All right, so we've picked out five. Two are gonna be mainstreams and three are from indies. Um, I think only three of the five are actually still available. So I'm sorry about that, but maybe the other ones you can find in a stash. Actually, I don't know. There might be one that's that Emily Damali might still be around as well. So we'll see. We'll have to, I'll have to check on that. Maybe I'll put that in the description box or add some text later. All right, let's go. All right, we're starting with I mean, the mainstreams, and the first one is from Essie. It's relatively new. This one is Go With The Flowy. Um, it is basically a really light, light gray base, and then it has sort of this iridescent -y shimmer running through there. We were just talking about whether or not it's blue or not. I don't think it's a blue shimmer. It's actually just reflecting the light. Yeah, it is. Everything. I wonder so, if that would make a nice topper, actually. It's actually really opaque, so watch this. Yeah, I think it's that might. It's very opaque. And I love these Essie brushes. Huh. But yeah, it's super opaque. I mean, it's just, for being such a light colored yeah. polish. Um, and it, I, if I remember correctly, I think it's just, it's a two coater, I mean, at most. So, but yeah, you can definitely see how well it covers. And it's just got that really delicate little shimmer in there. So again, Essie's go with the flowy. All right, let's try the next one. Insta dry, Sally Hansen Insta dry line. Um, I love this gray because it's more of a blue based gray, which is usually, I like cool tones. I've said that before probably many times. This is Grease Lightning. Um, warm tones of any color, it just don't do good on me. Um, but this one almost looks like it has a little bit like purple or plum in it. I like um, it. But it's definitely gray. So let's try that one. So again, it's uh, Sally Hansen's Insta dry Grease Lightning. And I love their brushes are looking really good too. Nice and opaque. Just a tiny, tiny bit streaky, but for a straight up cream, if you're looking for like a base for nail art, um, that one is perfect for that. Okay, now we're gonna go into our indies. Um, and again, the Essie and the Sally Hansen I know are still available. Um, our next indie, our first indie is from Potion Polish. Um, one of my favorite brands, which I don't think is actually as popular, um, but um, I don't believe Potion Polish ever does polish pickup, um, but I love Potion Polishes. Um, and this one is Wild Coastline. And it's basically just a very light gray base. And then it has a um, little bit of shimmer in there. And then it's got the multi-chrome flakies that go, switch from like red to green to orange to almost like a goldy yellow in there. So it's so, so pretty. Nice for fall. Perfect for fall. I think that's my bottle. Is it? Mm -hmm. Everybody's buying from the same supplier or something. Yeah. Um, so this one's going to be a little bit sheer on that first coat, but but still for being, like that isn't one. that beautiful? Look at the flaky payoff in that. And that's one coat. I just love it. I like to like kind of move it around because you can see all the pretty shinies in there. So beautiful. Actually, I'm liking this as a Skittle Manny. Every time we do one of these, I'm like, oh, I want to do that as a Skittle Manny. And then uh, you never do. And then I never do. Exactly. With so much polish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next one is from Scofla, and this one I believe is not, this was one, I, it was from uh, Polish Pickup, um, and it is Mercury was in effing <laughs> retrograde, so we will 
we'll leave that part of it out. Um, actually, I did not pick this up the first time that it was in PPU. I got it on the Rewind. Um, I kicked myself after I missed it, um, but I just loved it. And I this has kind of that that same kind of purpley bluish dark gray base and then it's filled with it's got some teal shimmer it's got some light blue um little tiny round glitters and it's got some black shards um oh it's got all kinds of things in here uh, scofflaw is known for the kitchen sink polishes yeah, there's just say. so much going on in here so love 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 this it's pretty It definitely I looks love. bluish. It does, but it's so... It's because of the elements in it. There. Yeah, for sure. It's reflecting. Whoa. It, it looks like there's a shimmer, too. There is a shimmer. I said it. There's like a teal shimmer oh, in there. Yeah. <laughs> you were too mesmerized by the polish to hear my description. <laughs> right. but yes. I... It was shiny, and I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, exactly. You were <laughs> like, oh... <laughs> distracted squirrel right, <laughs> yeah, exactly um i just love the blue glitters in there um, i think that's my favorite so far yay it's so beautiful unfortunately you'll have to find it in a d-stash because i don't think it's or be i back. can make it or you make it that's right that's true <laughs> i always forget that i have the technology it. you can yeah do that all right the next one is i believe i'll have to check like i said i'm going to check on her website on emily jamali's website i got this last fall um it is called ornate print print there um, again it's a dark gray base um, okay. and it's got different uh, multi-chrome flakies not just like the autumn colors but I'm also seeing like ultraviolet blue and electric blue um, in there um, and I don't, actually I don't think that there's any shimmer in there I think it's just packed with flakies so pretty let's try that one All right. Oh, and we're getting airplane noise again. And every time we film, we always have the airplane going. Yes. Awesome. So this one, I think, is a little, um, it's packed with flakies, but they're kind of like a subtle, a subtle flake. You know what I mean? Like, it's not as in your face, which was one of the reasons why I liked it, because I wanted, sometimes mm. you don't want something yeah. that's just going to, like, completely jump off your nails. So, um, and I really, really like that dark, the dark gray base on that one. Mm, those are pretty. Love them all, love them all. All right, so um, we're gonna stop, pause here for a second. We're gonna apply second coats and some top coat and then we'll be back. All right, and we're back. And I we added um, a second coat. These are all, all of these only have two coats. Um, so second coat to each of these and a glossy top coat. I will say though that um, the second one there, the the dark gray, I was a little, a little fast and rushed it. So there's gonna be some air bubbles in there. I apologize for that. Um, so this first one here is um, Essie's Go With The Flowy, um, and I just love that pale, that kind of very, very pale, like dove gray. Nice it's really for pretty. a dress up night, for a fancy night out. Well, maybe for you, but <laughs> that's not really dress up fancy for me. I guess if, <laughs> leave it to you to pick the, the, the most nude looking, <laughs> um, <laughs> simple, <laughs> she's spitting her coffee out over here. <laughs> sure. Out of all those, the one that I would pick for most dressy would not actually I was be thinking that one. sophisticated. Okay, sophisticated. All right. All right. <laughs> like you're going to something like you're. Like the, the, like the little black dress and you're going to yes, put that on there. Yes, right see? There. I, I don't know. I think I would still have to add something to that to kind of uh, bring it I up. I like but... it. I'm fine. All right. The second one is the <laughs> Grease Lightning from Sally Hansen, Sally Hansen Insta Dry. Um, nice base for doing stamping on, I think. Um, potion polishes. Um, Wild Coastline. Again, this one I believe is still available. That's two coats with glossy top coat. I love it. Love, love, love it. My personal favorite. And my personal favorite, I think, too, if I was going to pick from all of these, is this Scofla, which is Mercury so was pretty. an effing retrograde. Just love it. So pretty. And then the last one is Emily Damali's um, Ornate Print, which um, has all those beautiful different color uh, chrome flakies in there. Multicolor yeah, flakies. Pretty. So pretty. I think that one's just, I love it because it's underst like understated for me. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not so much for you, but for me. Awesome. Well, let us know, guys, if what your favorite gray polishes are. Do you stick mostly to mainstream? Do you like to hit indies for your favorite grays? Comment below. I'd love to know. I'd love to go check out what you're wearing. Um, if you have any questions, also leave them, leave them below. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.